All right, today I'm going to show you the new ways in 2025 to edit the layout, kind of the look of your Substack. So you'll go up here to settings inside your dashboard. And then once you get to settings over here on the left hand side, you're going to choose website. It'll automatically scroll to website for you. And then you'll see you have your publication theme. Set color, layout, font styles for your site. You'll want custom theme. And once you've selected that, click the button that says go to website theme editor. Once you click on that, it's going to pull up your page and you're going to be able to see in real time the changes you make. You'll be able to see the home page, what that looks like, the welcome page, which people will see when they come to your Substack for the first time. You'll also be able to see how it affects the layout of individual posts. So we're going to start with a home page here. And first, under theme settings, you're going to see branding. You can change the logo of your publication here. If you want to insert a publication word mark, you can do that. What that will do is it will replace the name of your publication at the top of your, of your Substack. Uh, you can do that if you want to. This is where you'll add it. It tells you the size they need to be, at least uh, 1,344 by 256 pixels, at least that. Uh, if you change the colors, let's just say I want to change the background of mine to, let's just change it to purple. You'll see this is what that looks like. You can see what it looks like. You're like, ah, I don't like that. Change it back to white. Um, you can also change the accent color. Uh, the accent color is like say these button these buttons right here uh, this right here that's the accent color you can change that uh, and you know it, it'll it'll make those changes there for you so say you want to change it to this red color and it's changed now you'll have to hit save to finalize any changes you make but that's uh, that's what it looks like all right so maybe what you want to change is say the the font Right now, mine is on slab. Uh, you could change it, though, say, to mono. And you'll see now all the font looks a little bit different. And so that's how it does. That's the, the heading font. Let's see. I think I was on slab. And the body, that changes more the inside the body of your article. That changes this. Now, here you can see the heading is that. So... You can do whatever you want. I like for the heading and the body font uh, to be the same. I just kind of think it it sort of makes everything uniform. Uh, but you can do that however you want. For me, in this one, I have it sitting on slab, the body, and the heading. Also with link style, if you want to do colored links, you can do that where it'll be whatever color your accent color is. Or if you prefer, you can do underline links, and then it will... Uh, rather than being the color of your accent color, it will underline all links in your articles. So that's what you can do as far as branding goes. What you can also do is, let's go back to the home page. You can choose how these, these articles, your content is laid out on the home page. And I'm going to run you through these. Mine is feature. So it's got the rest down here. Uh, and you have at the top a featured post. You can also do a newspaper, and the way that lays out is you can see a little differently here. It has the few posts at the top and down the side, the most popular. You could do a uh, media feature, which that'll put a podcast or video at the top. So if you're doing a lot of podcasts, if you're doing a lot of videos, you might want the media feature where it puts that at the top, and it makes it just larger. You could also do, I skipped magazine, it's very similar to newspaper, but you just have more articles up here at the top. You could do a highlight, um, which highlights a post here, but then it has all others around it. Um, if you do, if yours is just a podcast, if that's all you're using Substack for, you could do the, the podcast layout. It shows your podcast at the top, different places people can listen. You can show the, you can center that if you prefer it to be centered, or you can do it off to the side. You can show top posts, show podcast players. You know, you can you can do all that. You can remove those. Um, so all those things are possible for you. Or you can also do a feed of posts. If you want to just do a kind of a running line of posts, you can also do it that way. For me, I personally, uh, I personally prefer the feature 
Let's hit cancel here, get us back to what we originally were. You see here. All right. So those are all options. Post, you can also choose to have a, a list, and it'll just list them. Or you can also do, mine is the grid, and I, I prefer the grid because it seems they show up more in front of people. You can also do advanced layouts where you can add a specific block of content, like a list of posts or a grid, a feature, subscribe. So you can sort of customize how your, your homepage lays out in that way. And anyway, that, that's, that's how you customize the layout of your Substack. It's just simply that easy. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.